All right, I think I got one of these left in me. I berated my younger neighbor. He actually doesn't live here. His girlfriend lives here, and he's brainwashed by Jordan Peterson and came back at me with this, like, responsibility card, and he'll just stick to that, bro, and that'll be fine. I'm like, okay. Like, responsibility for, like, you know, whatever, like, classes and academic achievements, all this bullshit. And, uh, yeah, I just yelled at him through my window today. I was like, everyone will be dead by 20. Every single person will be dead by 2040. Wake up, child. Because he thinks some techno fixes is going to come get us. And I actually made this rant about this family I saw at this restaurant, but it's everywhere. It's at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's just a different class of family. I mean, like... There's a class spectrum here. There's a class, classism. This shit shows circus pandemonium. It's exhausting. It's never ending. And it goes nowhere. And it's just like we just keep consuming and producing and consuming. And it's like business as usual, right? I don't like this system. I don't like this system that creates winners and losers, makes people like Bezos and Musk and Zuckerberg like billions hundreds of billions of dollars and everyone else is like struggling to like make ends meet and living with family members and uh yeah it's working exactly as intended um and i hate it and it does all that at the expense of the environment and there's just homeless people everywhere and i can't stand it how we drive around with these crosses in our car and we don't even pay attention to these people and it's just like Dude, all of this, right, we could have solved. My friend told me a year ago, like, we could have fixed all these problems. We could have, really. You know? And that's just the real big... That's the bummer part about all of it. It's like, all of this is totally unnecessary. It's drama. It's big play. It's big act. Yeah, I hate I hate the system. I, I don't... I didn't choose this system. Um, and... Yeah, it's worn me ragged. You know, like I said, I've been working since I was 16. and I'm almost to my mid-30s, and it's like, dude, what? I haven't gotten anywhere. I've been pushed down the entire time. I, this hasn't worked for me, and my whole generation, mostly. It hasn't worked for us. You know, the generation right before me had a little bit more advantage. Um... But it's like, nah, it's rigged. It didn't work for me. It exploits the environment. And it puts us into this massive inequality, like classism structure. It's like one of the worst fucking systems there is. It literally destroys our life. Um, so yeah, my whole consciousness has gone through a rapid change. It, I've already felt this way in my late teens, early 20s, like, this isn't right. Um, and then now it's like fully evident, fully clear for me, you know, to see that it's rigged. And it set us up for doom. It was really hard to break, really hard to break away from the construct that we built for ourselves uh, with our social circles and societal expectations. Like to individuate yourself from that being tethered to that, you know, whenever from expectations from family and friends and gosh, you know, those are so strong and to, to separate yourself and really experience it is, uh, you know, it takes a rare person. And there's been so many people I know in my creative circles throughout high school and a little bit there and before or after, like a lot of people just kill themselves. Like, they straight up did. If they lost a parent, or, like, things went south, or or if they didn't kill themselves, they were, like, a death by a thousand cuts. Like, a lot of people we know, right? Just, like, drank themselves and, like, just abused themselves. And, uh, you know, if you had a child or two, like, you shot yourself in the foot. You just ruined your whole life. But, yeah, I don't care. Like, like Jules said in Pulp Fiction, like, I don't, no more, no less. This is just me, you know? Just Jules, just Reagan, just what, that's the name I've given, you know, I've been given, just some, just person, flesh, 
So, gosh, a lot of my subscriber base is men. And I respect that. And, you know, I respect all of you. I It's flat out over. I'll never have a romantic affair again. Like, it's so destitute. I don't ever see that unfolding. So I have nothing to lose. I really, I have everything I need and want. And, you know, I'm over that bullshit. Like, the, I used to be in that phase. Like, the universe, is like, gives you stuff. It makes you, gives you struggle and makes you want to achieve, the, you know, like, it has, like, a consciousness and it wants you to go through trauma so that you can be stronger afterwards it's like no things are just suck it's random it's unfortunate and you just live and learn and you know there's been so many epic figures in history i've you know i don't want to fall into that trap with myself it's like have you done enough Ugh, I, I used to be like that I'm a little embarrassed, too, of my Capricorn video I made for fun. It's stupid. Zodiac means nothing. It was just fun video. It was kind of coincidental, huh? You know, like, a lot of creative people, like, were born between this time. Like, a, like notably creative people and intelligent. It's kind of it's kind of peculiar, huh? Go ahead and make a Leo video. Make a Scorpio. Oof, that'd be scary. The meds are going to kick in and I'll be out. I didn't ask for any of this. And I certainly didn't ask to come out into the world and be berated over YouTube with paragraphs and people telling me how I should live my life or trying to babysit or claim ownership or, you know, you just, I eliminate the word, even I just said it, I and myself. Like, you don't need to say I and you know, this, myself, this, you just, to other people, you just treat them like, you just make it about them, everything you should do conversationally should be like about the other person, like 90, the reason I'm a good conversationalist is because I make it 90% about the other fucking person, because that's what they want, that's what you want, you want someone to ask about you and care and listen and reciprocate, Instead, you know, this narcissistic culture is everywhere, even in people who say they're, like, free-minded and spirited. Like, they're still fucking self-absorbed, dude. And, you know, it's just, it's annoying. It's like, check yourself, man. Check yourself at the door before you fucking talk to me. Not make it I about myself. Like, if you care about me, then show it. And you show it by letting me speak and responding, like, and acknowledging what I'm saying and... You know, not firing back conjecture and being critical. We're all damaged and diseased and skeletons. Fuck. What a disaster we've become. Okay. Going to bed now. So I'll talk to you later. Upload this soon. Bye.